Hi, I'm Yetta and I'm studying Information Technology at CSU by Distance Education. Uh, this is the first time I've studied since I left high school many years ago. It was a challenge. I actually had to um, make sure I was motivated to do um, the course. I had to be, make sure I chose a course that I was interested in doing so that I could actually um, sit down and actually make myself study. Uh, I chose um, information technology mainly because I had um, created a website for ourselves. Um, my husband and I both take um, photographs. We wanted somewhere, some medium to put these photographs out there for people to see, do a bit with it. And I'm also interested in computing and computers and how they work. I work full time. I work with TAFE at the moment. I'm an educational support officer there. Um, it's administration, helping the teachers um, with all their daily classes and enrolments and enrolling students into different courses for them to get through with their careers. You can't do it without family support. My husband's great. Um, he's taken over the cooking, a lot of the cleaning. Um, and as well as that, we, I need to do exercise. I can't just sit um, on my backside studying the whole time. You know, I'll just go crazy. So I, we make sure that um, we, I allocate a certain time for a study, a certain time for play, a certain time to help hubby a little bit around the house. I've got two daughters. Um, one's 18, one's 21. My eldest daughter is just finishing her degree in nuclear medicine at Wagga CSU. Uh, my youngest daughter is off to um, study music at Armadale at University of New England um, very shortly. They are very supportive, they were right behind me to um, do this degree, um, so was hubby. He, they, they were all um, saying go go ahead, do it, we'll, we'll do whatever we can to, to help you with this. The house is um, not big enough for us to have a separate room for me to study in. I take over the dining room table every night. Um, I, they have to make sure I um, pack up all my stuff because if um, Hubby's not happy <laughs> the next day if um, we go to have din sit down to have dinner and then all my textbooks and notes and everything are all over the dining room table. So each night when I finish my study, I pack it all up, stick it to the one end of the dining room table so we all can sit down and have dinner together. Studying when you don't feel like it is one of the hardest things to do. Um, in that, at that time, you've really got to um, probably try and find something that you're interested in, something, some, Part of your studies that you find you may um, find, you find really interesting and want to, want to read on a little bit further. Planning for the unexpected, the only way I can find myself doing that is to be trying to stay in front of where you should be. Your subject outline says when your assignments are due, when you've got uh, what you should be doing each week. Um, trying to work that little bit harder and keep, keeping yourself up maybe a week in front of where your subject outline says you should be, making sure your assignments are finished that little bit earlier, will give you a bit of leeway if something unexpected happens and you won't be able to sit down for a night or two to be, or three to be able to do what you normally would do. The biggest tip I can give is to ask for help. Um, it doesn't matter what it is, uh, what the problem is, ask somebody, whether it be your lecturer, lecturers are never going to buy it. I've done it myself, I've rung up, got, or emailed and I always got a proper answer and help. Distance education, it's, it, it is a great way of learning something new. Um, it is flexible, you have the opportunity to explore areas of interest that may be totally away from your normal day-to-day -day work um, and total day-to-day -day life um, and learn something new, keeps your brain going.